This looks like like one of those pictures kids get at like karate or something. What's going on YouTube? Taylor Print is back here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Kith and Star Wars collaboration, which is coming out this Thursday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. I said that in my Supreme video, but I think it makes a little bit more sense in this video. So uh, I actually have never seen Star Wars, so bear with me if I uh, don't know who all these characters are. But anyways, yeah, we've got a lot of pieces to get into, so I'm just gonna hop right on into it. The first items we have here are posters. As you guys can see here, we have the Return of the Jedi poster to start it off, which this whole collection is the Return of the Jedi collection. So we've got just a little picture of Yoda, uh, Darth Vader, this artwork is very cool, just very reminiscent of Star Wars stuff. All this artwork is pretty cool. I feel like Star Wars has a very good grasp on what they're doing when it comes to graphics. So yeah, all this stuff is pretty cool. Uh, here we've got Darth Vader, a couple people fighting. Uh, on the third one, we have this lightsaber. I really, really like the imagery on this one. Very, very cool. I'm not sure uh, if this, what language this is down here. I would imagine Japanese, but not 100%. And then uh, the last one we have here is another Return of the Jedi poster. Kind of hard to tell even really what's going on in there, but it still looks pretty cool. It's got that vintage feel to it. So anyways, getting into the actual clothes here, we've got a couple varsity jackets to start things off. And I'm actually not sure of the names of these pieces. Some of the names got listed on Kiss Instagram. And I actually thought this was the Jedi jacket, but that is the second jacket. So uh, I'm not sure what this one's called, but I do like it. Uh, as a varsity jacket, I think it's pretty cool. I really like the text going down the center. That's not really something you see before or see too much. Uh, it says for the rebellion. Then just, yeah, I like the layout of this jacket. I feel like the composition uh, is pretty nice. I also like the black and gray. I think that works pretty well here, uh, especially with this on the back. And it does look like this is full embroidery. So yeah, a uh, very cool piece. Probably gonna be pretty expensive. I feel like most of their varsity jackets are fairly expensive but yeah I think this is a pretty solid piece moving on to the next jacket uh, it's very similar here we do have a little bit of like we do have some differences as you guys can see here the pockets are made to look like lightsabers or well I guess uh, they're not attached to the pockets but right below the pockets we've got little lightsabers um, I feel like it would have been cooler if they incorporated that into the pocket I thought that's what was going on there at first but it doesn't actually look like that Again, we've just got some patches on the sleeves. I feel like the composition on this one is not as good as the last one, but still pretty solid. I like the use of the uh, like the subtle colors in this with the red and then the lightsaber colors, and then we have some red on the back as well. I really like this imagery on the back, just that very classic look. Got a little Yoda, may the force be with you. So yeah, uh, very cool. Uh, for the varsity jackets in my opinion next we have a quarter zip uh, I actually yeah I don't even know this dude's name uh, but the art is very cool um, typically I don't really like all over print pieces but I feel like this one is pretty nice I feel like the like nature -y background uh, works pretty well here I feel like nature related pieces work pretty well in all over print stuff and yeah I think uh, this is just pretty nice. All the colors work really well together. And uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Star Wars, I think this is a banger piece. Here we have another quarter zip. Again, I think the artwork here is really solid. This looks like it's just a screenshot from one of the movies. I could be completely wrong. Uh, if you are a Star Wars head, definitely let me know down below. But yeah, the colors and everything here are really cool. The subtle uses of the red are awesome like using Darth Vader as the focal point, even though it's kind of hard to really see him, uh, just works really well in my opinion. Here we've got a button up, uh, almost like a work jacket type of piece. Uh, it's got these stormtroopers kind of all over it. I don't like this one as much as the previous pieces, um, but I don't mind it either. So yeah, uh, I don't know. I just feel like some of the artwork some of the other artwork is a little bit cooler than this. I believe this one is just called the Star Wars hoodie. Um, so it's got stars kind of all over it, which is cool. I'm not really sure how they applied that or like accomplished that. Uh, I like the use of the Kith logo there, like uh, with a little slant, just looks pretty cool. Um, but I do, I don't know. Uh, I feel like this one leaves a little bit something to be desired. I feel like the little like spacecrafts and everything and this like little Darth Vader face could have been 
done a little bit better. Here we have the Stormtrooper hoodie. So yeah, I didn't really like the coach's jacket. Don't really love this hoodie. Uh, it's just kind of, I don't know. Uh, it's not, like I said, it's not bad, but uh, it just kind of gives me weird vibes, <laughs> to be honest. Here we have the Darth Vader hoodie. I think this one is really cool. Um, just these like comic book style artworks in black and white, I think works really well here. You got the Kith branding there in the middle. I do wish they kind of incorporated Kith branding into the piece in a different way. Uh, obviously right there, it's kind of subtle. It doesn't really like take away from the piece, but I feel like they could have like incorporated Kith logos into Star Wars art if that makes sense and then the next one we have here i believe is just called the palace hoodie uh it's just got this crazy gradient going on i really really like this one i'm a sucker for gradients so that's probably why but yeah this one is just beautiful it's like brown to purple to pink to orange to yellow to green almost so yeah um these are crazy really good job here with these dyes Moving on, we've got a crew neck. This is the return of the Jedi crew neck. This is on the back of the crew neck. Um, I prefer my artwork on the front of pieces. I feel like a lot of times when it's on the back, you just don't get to see it a lot of the times because it's your back, obviously. But here on the left chest, we do have the return of the Jedi Kith branding. So I think this piece is pretty clean. I think that blue really, really pops. Uh, fairly good design in my opinion and I believe most of this section is going to be t-shirts so we've got a lot of t-shirts for this collection just a lot of cool artwork to be honest and all the t-shirts are coming in at $70 first one we have here it's got a little Darth Vader a little spacecraft action nothing too crazy going on here it is really cool how the images that they use of Darth Vader like they're on black shirts they're oftentimes really dark images but they really use the light to like make the image which is what they've done here too as well um that does look like another darth vader mask the kith logo is kind of faded i think this one is really fire uh this one i'm actually i don't know who who this little guy is but this one is funny this is like this is like a gag shirt almost but uh yeah it's kind of cool i don't know just the fact that they would actually release that is funny to me here we've got another uh i'm imagining this has artwork on the back i'm not sure though it just says star wars there on the front so again, yeah, just a different kind of style, that Return of the Jedi. This one does seem to be less in your face than the last one. And I actually really liked that one. Uh, that was like more standout-ish. Again, we have a little uh, square box picture. We've got R2-D2 and uh, this guy again, who I don't know. Uh, and it says, and you said it was pretty here below. Uh, they're standing in nature again. So yeah, I don't know. This is kind of all dependent on if, you're a big Star Wars fan, because uh, like I don't recognize these screen grabs or anything like that. So, not for me, but I do really appreciate this collection so far. I think they've done a really good job with it. Here we've got the Stormtrooper Stormtroopers T. I think the T works a little bit better than those all over print pieces. I feel like uh, it's just a little bit much when you have it all over print, but I do think this one looks pretty cool. Uh, just the, all the Stormtroopers together is kind of like, just gives you an ominous feeling. Uh, here we've got Darth Vader, uh, some Return of the Jedi action going on there. Uh, he's just standing there with a lightsaber with some fire going on behind him. Here we've got like the whole gang, it looks like. A bunch of different characters who I definitely don't know the names of. This has that comic book art style though that I really like and that I think Kith does super well. Here we've got a more serious shirt. Uh, I really like this. This looks like like one of those pictures kids get at like karate or something, uh, if, that, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I actually think this looks pretty cool. The use of the green and everything. Uh, really pops here this one uh i'm actually not really even sure what is going on here so if anyone wants to let me know let me know because yeah i don't even know it looks like it says film uh uh here's the back of that shirt let's see if we can decipher anything from this um so it's just got a little alphabet i guess this is like the star wars alphabet i didn't know they had their own alphabet but yeah like i said never never watched any of the star wars stuff so uh, here we have that artwork that was on one of the posters. So if you guys like that artwork, you can also get it in a t-shirt form. Has the Kith branding kind of worked in over top of it. I actually like how they've done the Kith branding there. Very subtle, uh, but you can still tell it's a collab. Again, we have the Yoda uh, as well. I like Yoda. Yoda's a cool little guy. So yeah, I think we're just going to wrap up these t-shirts with the images that we've seen on posters like i said i really like this artwork with the lightsaber just the use of light here is very very cool got the little galaxy opening up in the 
like where the saber has been very fire uh very vintage feeling and just cool looking here we have a like a blue chromatic design uh a lot of lightning some fighting going on this one's very cool how they use just the blue uh i don't know just very cool the kith branding here feels uh i don't know i don't want to say it feels out of place uh feels like again they could have just incorporated it in cooler ways than just like slapping a kith logo on there but i'm kind of nitpicking at this point i still think it's a, a solid shirt uh here we have reconstruction rebellion and i honestly can't see what that last word is because uh it's so blurry you guys probably know it might just say return i think that's what it says um then we've got, I don't know what this little ball is, dude. I, I feel like I should have watched the Star Wars movies before I like reviewed this collection or gave my opinions on it. Here we've just got a little box logo. Uh, it looks like there's like a spacecraft in the box logo. I like that. I like like playoffs of box logos. Um, just got the Star Wars branding there below. And on the back of it, looks like we've got a bunch of comic strip uh, style artworks, which um, it's kind of hard to tell in this picture because it is a little blurry. I can't tell if these are more like animated or if they're actual like screen grabs. I'm gonna imagine they're more animated, like more of that animated style to fit that comic book type of feel. And yeah, I believe that's it besides hats. So we've got some hats and some accessories down here. Um, these are pretty basic hats. Looks like uh, just Return of the Jedi with a couple different figures on them. Um, I'm imagining these are gonna come in different colorways as well for each hat. And then we've got the Star Wars Kith branding there i think that one's pretty cool the yellow text one um here's just a better look at them from on front we also have some mesh snapbacks uh these ones are very cool i'm kind of biased because i just like like that trucker hat vibe and yeah these are pretty cool the embroidery looks very nice uh, i'll just go with the black one because i'm super basic but yeah i think the yellow really pops on those uh two uh, and then we've got a couple more hats r2d2 and uh gold guy who remains to be unnamed <laughs> uh I, I think that's a darth vader one there we got some stormtroopers there and then i'm not really sure what these are um i think it's just a uh like a stash jar type of thing going on here very cool desk accessory and then uh we've got some more like little statue things i believe I think these are just like little models that you again just display somehow uh got a stormtrooper i don't know who this dude is got this little spacecraft and then the last thing we have here is clocks which uh kind of weird kind of weird to have a clock uh i thought but i think it's cool i feel like kith does like clocks a lot so i guess it kind of makes sense we've got the typical kith like checkerboard background on these two uh or well i guess these are the same clock uh so we've got two clocks um, one with Darth Vader and company, and then one with uh, just the sky and the Kith Star Wars logo. So yeah, overall, I think this uh, collaboration was very solid. I do wish I knew more about Star Wars. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could have gave a better opinions if I knew more about Star Wars. But regardless, for someone who's like not a fan, just like based on the designs and the clothes themselves, I think they did a really good job. I think the graphics and everything is very cool. Um, I do think my favorite piece though is this hoodie just because the gradient on this is so nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have made it to this point, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Have a good one.